G'day, it's Phil here, and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be looking through $1 coins, looking for commemorative coins, rare coins, and coins worth more than face value. Again, we have my $1 collection book here, already partly filled, if not nearly completely filled, with the commemorative coins that we've found so far. And realistically, after looking through all of these coins, this is the only one we really need to fill this book in. It's the 2016 changeover coin. We have all the other commemorative coins, as well as a whole heap of non-intended for circulation coins uh, that we have found over the journey. But we are looking for that elusive changeover coin. So let's get into the coins and see what we can find today. We have 12 rolls of $1 coins. Each roll is worth $20, as it says on the paper, $1, $20. And so we'll be looking through all of those coins. We'll be looking at the obverse and reverse, both sides of the coins, trying to find the changeover coin. And the reason for that is that the changeover design is on the obverse. This is the mob of ruse. That's the standard design of the $1 coin. That's the obverse. It's the reverse. The obverses usually have the queen or the monarch on it. And so we will have to look on both sides so that we can find that 2016 with the changeover uh, design on it. Here's our first commemorative coin. This is the 2002 year of the Outback. It's highly minted coin. So what we'll do is we'll put it up top here on the top row, call that the common commemoratives. And if we find anything that's worth keeping, call it a keeper and we'll put it down on the bottom row. Here we have our next memory that's also a common commemorative. It's Sir Henry Parks from 1996, the father of Federation. Go up on the top row as a common commemorative and we'll continue on. We have the Centenary of Scouting from 2010, sorry, 2008. 2010 is the Centenary of Guiding, but this is a common commemorative as well. So it's going to go up on the top row. As I go through the coins, I'll also be looking at the dates, looking for years where there was no mob of ruse issued into circulation. There's another 2002 year of the Outback. And those years were 1987, 1989, 1990, 1991, 2007. 2012, 2019 coin, not one we are looking for. Here we have a 2001 coin, that's the Centenary of Federation, and usually we'll see the Centenary of Federation or an International Year of Volunteers. This is the International Year of Volunteers, so it's highly minted commemorative coin. We'll go up on the top row, it's another 2019, and I'll also be looking out on the coins for any uh, errors. We have the 100 Years of Antac, not in great nick. This is from 2014, which is the highest minted of the series. It ran from 2014 to 2018 inclusively. And if we find any of those other years, we'll be keeping those because they would be low minted coins. Here we have the International Year of Peace. This is the very first $1 commemorative coin from 1986. $1 was only issued first in 1984. Prior to that, it was a note from decimal decimalization in 1966 so our 50 cents 20 cents 10 cents and 5 cents go back to 1966 the one dollar coin only goes back to 1984 and here we go with the centenary of federation from 2001 and we always check that one for a rotation error this one seems to be fine and we continue on here's a 1993 and that'll be the land care australia coin 1993 Sometimes we look for cuds, which is die chips where the waves here or the uh, leaves on this tree come together with an error. That one seems to be fine, so we'll move on. And yes, as I say, we were looking for errors, cud errors, which are where the coin has been underdeveloped or die has chipped and left extra bits of metal on it. Here we see the Sir Charles Kingston Smith from 1997. Australia's Pioneer Aviators. Oh, that's not going to quite fit. Oh, we'll put it over there. Yep, that'll fit. And we have a Chogham, which is a Commonwealth Heads of Government meeting coin. In 2011, that meeting was held in Perth, Australia. This is the coin celebrating or commemorating that meeting. It's highly minted commemorative coin, though, so it'll go up on the top row. And we continue on. Oh, there we go. We have a 1999 International Year of Older Persons. 1999, also highly minted. It will go up on the top row. 
then we have finished to that role, but we can check this Centenary Federation from 2001 to see if there's a rotation error, but there's not. The damage there that looks like post mint damage where another coin has hit it with its reading. But that'll be fine. We'll put that down there. And so we will come to the third roll. After the third row roll, we will have uh, we'll speed the hunt up, and we will only stop if we see something new for the day. Oh, and there we have an ender. We have a Matilda's coin. This is the header. Matilda's are the Australian women's national football team. And in 2023, we had a series of those coins issued in conjunction with um, Woolworths to celebrate the FIFA Women's World Cup that was held in Australia and New, Ze uh, New Zealand in 2023. And that particular effigy there is the Memorial Effigy. It's got the denomination there. It's also got the years of reign of Queen Elizabeth. This was issued after her death. It'll go down on the bottom. That's a keeper. It's a low, lower minted coin. And so that'll be a keeper for the wider collection. We have the Centenary of Commonwealth Age Pension from 2009. Also highly minted, celebrating uh, looking after our aged population. Another Outback coin. Is that 2000? No, it's 2006. 2006. We're always looking out for the year 2000 coin. That's the coin that could possibly have a mule error where the 10 cent die was used on the Queen's Head side and it has an extra rim around it because the 10 cent piece is a little bit smaller than the $1 coin. Now that international year of older persons so always look out for the year 2000 so we can check for that mule error here we have the peace coin the dancing man uh, from 2005 and it's been a really long time since i've talked about the dancing man the dancing man image is from is an iconic iconic australian image from the end of world war ii i'll put up a bit of a video and a picture up there next to it so you can see it was a picture of a what seems to be an unknown man celebrating at the end of World War II and that iconic image and photograph was made into a coin to celebrate the end of World War II. There's another 100 years of Anzac from 2014. And so we continue on nearly at the end of the third roll. Still looking out for that changeover coin that elusive changeover coin and there we have it that's the 2013 so let's speed the hunt up now i'll only slow down when we find something new for the day i'll talk about it annotate it and hopefully that will mean changeover coins but let's get on to it And there for the first time we see the APEC Australia coin from 2007 celebrating the APEC meeting that was held in that year. Also highly minted and will go up on the top row. And there for the first time we see the Australia's Bicentennial, the 1988 coin with the uh, kangaroo on it. Also highly minted for Australia's Bicentennial and it'll go up on the top row. And there we have another Matilda's coin 
the tackle. Not in great condition though, so it might go back to the to the mint or back to the bank. Put it down with the keepers because it would be a, normally a, a keeper coin as a low minted uh, commemorative coin, but it's going to go back. And there for the first time today, we see the Centenary of Girl Guiding from 2010. Like I said, it's a bit of a mini set with the uh, Scouting, Centenary of Scouting. Also highly minted though, so it'll go up on the top row. And we have Sir Henry Parks, and I see another uh, not intended for circulation coin, another coin with the Memorial Effigy. So it's going to be something. Ah, it's the Big Blue Healer. So it's from the Aussie Big Things Collectible Series. Ten coins in all celebrating big things in Australia. Those big attractions that we'd love to see around the trap, around the country. It's a low minted coin, so it'll go down on the bottom row. And then this last coin in this roll is the King Charles III 2023. It's a mob of ruse. Uh, it is the standard coin, but this is the first uh, coin issued with the new King Charles III effigy. I'm going to hold on to it. I'm holding on to all of the uh, of those at the moment that are in pretty good uh, condition. Uh, we won't know how many of those are minted until later on in the year when we get the annual report. So we're keeping them until then. If it's a highly minted coin, they'll go back to the bank. And I'll keep a few, 10 or 15 maybe. But otherwise, until then, I'll stay in my collection. And there for the first time we see the centenary of women's suffrage from 2003 also a highly minted coin and it'll go up on the top row And we have another Matilda's coin, another tackle going down on the keeper's row.
And there, for the first time, we see a Great Aussie Coin Hunt coin. This is from the Great Aussie Coin Hunt number two from 2021. It's not in great nick. It's E for emu. Very angry, angry looking emu at that. Uh, but this will be going back to the bank because it's in very poor nick, even though it is a minted coin. I'll put it down with the keepers because it is a technically a keeper coin, but this one's going back to the bank because it's so dirty. And we've got a couple of commemoratives here the dancing man again and i noticed i probably put the original dancing man that i spoke about and showed the video about uh, in my hand because i couldn't find the pile of it when i came and found a second one there it is uh, it'll be amongst all the other coins but we do have a pile for it now and now we are on to the last roll the last roll of the hunt hopefully we have a little bit of a last roll luck finding a keeper coin or indeed that Change over coin that I have not yet found to close off the book. A couple of commemorative coins there. But not too bad of a hunt. Still a couple of coins for the wider collection. It is can be can be hard to find those coins for the wider collection, but today not too bad. A couple of um yeah, lower minted coins through them in a minute i need to stop talking and focus a bit on, on the coins so that the coins in the right place after i check them wow uh, there seems to be a large number of commemorative coins in this role which is good because it gives me an opportunity to get that change over coin we'll see how it goes down to the last few seeing the mob of ruse on the front is good because that's not the side with the commemorative design but looks like yeah that's pretty much it don't need to go through the coins uh, because I've gone through them uh, front and back so what we picked up today was a great Aussie coin hunt coin from number two Great Aussie Coin Hunt, the uh, E for EMU for 2021. As I said, that's going to go back to the bank. I'm going to uh, show you these two Matilda's coins, the Tackle. That one's the better looking one there on the reverse, but the obverse is very ordinary. That Matilda's is also pretty ordinary. Uh, I'm going to keep that one because that one, even though it's not high grade, it's not as dirty. Got some gunk on it like this one. That one's going to go back to the bank. Picks up another Matilda's coin the header for 2023 so very nice that's a very nice coin to to go into the wider collection and we picked up a king charles the third coin and that'll go into the wider collection just for the moment until we figure out the uh the mintage then we have the big blue healer from the aussie big things collectibles from 2023 nothing yet from 2024 today i did pick up uh three 2000 coins or three coins from the year 2000 as a shot at a mule so this will be the last week that we'll be putting them aside uh, it's been about a month now that I've been collecting those as I see them next week I'll show you how many I got uh, 2000 coins to have an opportunity to look for the mule uh, and then you can sort of gauge how often I get a shot at looking for a mule but if you enjoy what I do please think about subscribing to the channel uh, if you are finding 2000 coins from the year 2000 uh, with an opportunity at a mule how many are you, are you finding let me know if you're finding a lot or very very few but i will be back for more noodling in a few days so i'll see you then bye